Plants are divided or rather classified according to so many factors. Let's look at green and green plants. Now, green plants are those whose external parts such as the leaves, stems and branches are green in color. They have the green coloring substance that we call chlorophyll. Now, they make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Examples include maize, beans, grass, the acacia plant, fern, cypress, and many more in this group. Some green plants produce flowers, and they are referred to as flowering plants. Under this group, flowering plants can either be monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. The monocotyledonous plants include plants such as grass, sugarcane, onions, maize, wheat, millet, sorghum, rice, among other plants. Now we have those that are dicotyledonous and they include beans, cowpeas, green grams, ground nuts, cabbage, kales, carrots, cassava, the popo plant, mango, acacia, jacaranda tree, among other plants. Now we have other plants which cannot produce flowers and they are referred to as non-flowering plants. They are green but they do not produce flowers. These are the likes of the coniferous plants such as cypress, cedar and pine and others like fern, algae, mosses and liverworts. They reproduce by means of spores. Let's talk about non-green plants. These are plants whose leaves, branches and stems are not green in color. They have other colors such as white, gray, pink purple or even gray. They do not have what you call chlorophyll. Therefore, they cannot make their own food. Most of them belong to a group of plants we call the fungi. Examples include mushrooms, toadstools, molds, puffballs, yeast, smut, and penicillium. Remember, there are other more in that category. They do not produce flowers, so they are non-flowering plants. Some fungi grow on dead, decaying materials to obtain food, and they are referred to as saprophytes. An example is the mold which grows on bread. Now others grow on living things and cause diseases on their hosts. They are what you call parasites. The smut, for example, grows on maize. Some fungi are useful for that matter. For example, penicillium, which is used to make a medicine called penicillin that is used to treat malaria. We have yeast, which is used to raise duff when baking. And there are others, like the mushrooms, which are used as food. There are some fungi which are harmful to our skin and they cause fungal infections. These include ringworm, which causes hair to fall off the head, leaving white patches. We have dandruff that causes the skin on the head to peel off. And lastly, the athlete's foot, which causes itchy wounds between the toes. So that's all about the green and non-green plants.